Welcome everybody to another YouTube video. Uh, in today's video, basically what I wanted to do is try to build um, a good quality workout course. I don't know what you call it. Something that you could train um, for soccer, uh, football, whatever you want to call it, wherever you, um, whatever country you're from. And I wanted to go to the Dollar Tree and see if I could find some great stuff that I could put to use, spend no more than 20 bucks because sometimes I know step ladders, anything that has to do with agility, agility uh, things like that, um, it's kind of expensive. Uh, even if you look on Amazon, sometimes you're gonna spend upwards of like 10 to 15 to $20 just for one item. So I'm going to see if I can build something that is gonna be effective and something that's gonna help all aspects of your game, of my game, and see if it turns out good. So I'm gonna take the GoPro, we're gonna go shopping at the Dollar Tree, and then I will kind of put everything together and show you what I did and then I will show you on the on a field what it really looks like and see if you want to take any of my tips any of anything that I bought here um, maybe help somebody else I know it'll definitely I'm hoping I can get something that's gonna help me just because you know I I like to do a variety of different things and sometimes you gotta you kind of gotta just make believe you know, if you have cones, stuff like that. So I'm going to really try to build something that is um, for real, legit. Uh, I'm not going to buy stuff just to get stuff. So let's get to the store and see what I can get. And of course, they're buying a run to the car because it's raining. I guess good thing about the GoPro, right? All right, see you guys at home. I'll do a little explanation of everything that I bought. I'll show you guys the price. It was a pretty good deal. All right, so I'm in Burlington Coat Factory, trying to see if I find any soccer deals. So we're gonna go to shoes right now. All right, everybody, so I'm back from the Dollar Tree right now, and I kind of went ahead and just started putting together the stuff that I got. If you watched all the way through, I know a couple of the things weren't very conventional, and I mean, potentially could be embarrassing if you're out practicing 
um, with some of the stuff. But for me, I care more about, you know, something that's going to work and not cost a lot of money. I spend enough on my cleats, on my shoes. I feel that's the most important thing. If you're comfortable, um, your gear, that should be number one. I'm not saying you have to have the most expensive or the best things, but you do have to be comfortable. Uh, with that being said, I don't want to spend that much on my equipment uh, that I'm going to use. Um, so for me, it's, I can kind of, you know, get past the embarrassment or whatever that you might feel for just a little bit of time because really at the end of the day, you're there to get a good workout for yourself and that's all that shouldn't matter. Um, so let me kind of go into the things that I bought and explain how I'm going to use them and what I use them with. And then part two of the video, I will continue and actually show you uh, at a field how, how I would use all this stuff. So first things first, if you saw, if you saw I bought, um, I got two brooms and what I'm going to do is just take the bottoms off. I won't be needing those. I'm just going to use the poles. So already right there, you know, it's a little bit done with the embarrassment. Get rid of that on one. And then we'll do the same with the other one. This you can use, a, I don't know, clean around the house if you want. I don't do that. Um, so then you're going to have your two poles. You'll take your two poles. Um, and also one of the things I forgot to mention that I um, bought as well. So add on another dollar. Okay, so total I spent... Um, 1390 some I think it was so like $14 I kept it under way under 20 and I got I think decent amount of stuff um, and I forgot to mention that you just needed some like velcro squares they have a few there you can find different velcros at Dollar Tree so add on another dollar about 15 bucks under $15 and I got all this stuff and what I did was attach these right here because let me show you so I put them right there so then I can connect them and let me show you why So with the plungers, um, like I said, if you spray paint these, you wouldn't even know what they are. I don't think from far away. Um, they're just going to, and see, I work out on turf. So therefore these are just convenient to set up and they stand up. Now, um, I went ahead and also, like I said, I can't wait to show you guys what I'm going to do with them tomorrow, but I went ahead and put some Velcro on the front and then I can lean them in like this. Um, and then they become hurdles to jump over as well. So not only am I using them to stand up and go in and out, like I said, I'm going to show you guys tomorrow, but if I do this, then I can hop over them. And I just bought four because I really didn't want to buy more. Like it, it, all the stuff that you get, you know, you can add on more, you can buy more, but I was just trying to keep it on $20 and I kept it way under that. And then, so what you want to do after, take the bottom off because this comes off, you just twist it right off. And you then insert this in here. And then you touch them together. Like I said, you touch them together. This is going to stay on the bottom. And then you put them together and then you can use them as a, um, a free kick wall. It's not very high, but at least it's something that's in the way, that's going to get in the way of you, you know, being able to practice your shot. And I think that's very important because if you go, if you go by those, the, the wall that they make, I don't know how much that is, but I think that's pretty expensive. And therefore, you know, I can just touch those two together, put the base of the plunger on, on the mop, and then I have my little wall that I can set up. Um, and like I said, if you spray paint these black or, or paint this black, you won't even know the difference of what it is out there. And like I said, I don't care. I'm, I'm going to get a workout with these. Um, but everything else, um, for the most part, is going to be like something regular. So... The basket, the basket I'm going to use because I'm going to use this string that I bought and then hang it from the middle and either I can put it like this and shoot inside of it or put it like this and practice my chip shot. Um, like I said, I, in my league, I, pay, I play with um, smaller goals, so a chip shot is very important and that's where I've got to score some free kicks. Um, so that's kind of why I'm going to practice that. Or you can put this on the ground anywhere and practice your passing, your accuracy, you know. So the basket is very important. And then, so we get rid of the string, get rid of the basket. And then they actually had um, some cones. They had, I mean, they had them in small numbers. So I got just one pack. 
and this is this, and I'll explain these strings on them in a little bit. So two of those, and then I was able to purchase, they come in twos. I wish they came with more. So this is another two bucks right here for these, but I have four cones now um, to add on. And, and then, of course, you needed your tape. Let me show you why. The Velcro that I talked about. And then this I kind of made. So I bought two big things of string. Um, and like I said, this isn't going to be your conventional stuff. But when you set it up, I think it'll be great and it'll look great. So these I made, I cut one string into four circles, four of these. And then um, I attached them to other string. Now this is what I'm going to do is put this up in the corner of the goal like this and then this one will be down at the bottom and then I can aim my shot. It's kind of like if you've seen like where you put a tire. So I'll put this in the corner. This one will be hanging down and vice versa on the other side because I made two different ones. Now I was thinking how am I going to get this up on the goal? You know, I don't have a ladder to climb up. I don't have a chair. Remember, we're trying to just use what we bought. I don't want to add on anything extra um, other than a soccer ball that I have and my own shoes and stuff like that. But I don't want to add on anything extra. So then that's where I thought of with leftover string and Velcro. I just attached that to the side where I can clip this. And then this becomes a little clip. And basically, I will attach this like this top circle throw this over the top post, pull it down, and then it'll just be hanging right there. And hopefully with the net, um, it'll be kind of hard for um, this to fall down. And then I'll have something to aim. Maybe it won't always be a round uh, circular where I can get the ball in, but if I can just hit the target, uh, that's all that matters to me. Just gives me something to aim at. Um, and, and like I said, they'll be up on the corners. So I know probably it's a little hard to envision, but when I, sh when I actually go to the field, and able to show you guys what it's going to look like, I feel like it won't be that bad. Um, and I've never done anything like this. I've never set up any type of, you know, practice. The only thing that I've ever really used is the ladder, and I don't really use it that much. Um, but even then, that was still like 13 bucks, 12 $13 to buy. And, uh, I mean, it's not expensive, but then you add on other cones, other agility things, and it just becomes a lot. So... Um, I hope, it, you know, instead of laughing at it, because it's funny, obviously, who's going to take plungers to the field, but you know, you carry it in this, I don't know if someone's busy practicing, I don't know if they're going to laugh. Maybe they'll want to join me. <laughs> so I, I can't wait to try it out and see if I actually like it. And I'll be honest with you guys and let you guys know if it was something good or something bad. Um, but that's going to end. I'm going to end the video right here because I talk too much and Hopefully I can get the video recorded of me actually using the equipment and get that up. Stay tuned for part two and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.